Let's look at a Major League Baseball game for Friday night. One of your late games at 940 Eastern, Yankees-Padres. Now, I lean Yankees in this game, but I do want to say big picture. I think there will be some value with the Padres. And Dan Alexander and I talked about this earlier this week on the baseball show. If you look at San Diego's road numbers, they've actually been one of the better offensive teams in the league this year. So I do think there's some upside. And they're coming off a decent road trip recently against Atlanta and Cincinnati, in which they had double-digit hits now in five of their last seven games. But tonight is not a good spot for San Diego. We will fade them and we'll lay the short number minus $1.15 with the New York Yankees. And there's a couple reasons why. First of all, coming back home off the East Coast trip is difficult. And home dogs, Jeff Michaels, son of Ralph, pointed this out last year when we were doing a baseball show that just blindly playing against home dogs off extended road trips has been a moneymaker. And I also point this out a lot of the Friday baseball shows that road favorites do very well on Friday and in game one in general. So the Yankees check a lot of boxes here for a good situational play. I also like the pitching matchup. Darvish and Rodon both have been good recently, but we got lefty versus righty. And there's been a huge drop off for San Diego this year offensively on base plus slugging, probably the best overall metric you can use for offensive production. San Diego is the fifth best OPS team in baseball this year against righties. They're 25th against lefties. Meanwhile, the Yankees, 17th against lefties, but number one in the league overall and number one against right-handers. That's where they've done their damage. So we get a favorable pitching matchup here. Righty-lefty favors the Yankees. Road favorite, game one Friday. San Diego coming off the extended road trip. I think there will be spots to play San Diego in the near future, but tonight we'll look to fade them. If you play this late game at 940 Eastern, I would lay the short number with the New York Yankees minus fifteen. A couple quick reminders. I do an NBA video every game of the playoffs, and I continue to do so. Game two, Mavericks, Timberwolves, deep dive, full analysis, side, total player props is on the channel right now. So be sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell for instant alerts. You know when it goes up every morning. Game three, Pacers, Celtics will be up tomorrow, Saturday. Then we'll have Sunday and Monday videos as well. Yes, it's Memorial Day weekend. Yes, we remember the troops that gave the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, but we're working for you here on Wager Talk TV as well. But what seriousness, once again, while you're enjoying the games this weekend, while you're making a bet, appreciate the freedoms that you have and appreciate those that have served and sacrificed along the way for centuries to make this country great, Canada included. And if you're finding this useful, comment below. We read all the comments and we reply back. Thumbs up, like as well. And if you'd like to get my official best bets for Friday night, check out Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, along with that daily free play Free plays have been hitting over 70% the past week. It's a game that's just a bit outside for making the cut, and I put it up every day free for people on my page, a great way to build your bankroll. And you also might want to check out getting tonight's best bets for free. In fact, the rest of May for free when you sign up for June. Once again, by June, you get the rest of May for free, including my strong best bets tonight. And I do have one tonight in the NBA. Number one all-time units, one in the NBA at wagertalk.com. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker, wt.buzz slash sm. You can also follow me on Twitter and X at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter.